Welcome back to the garden, everybody. Check this out. I'm gonna show you why I love to plant pepper plants in five gallon buckets. One of the reasons, these are jalapeno peppers, as you can see, we are late in the season. In fact, this is Thanksgiving day that I'm recording this. Can you believe that I still have green leaves on my pepper plants on Thanksgiving day? Whereas in the garden, they are all toast by now. In fact, they were all toast about a month ago. But look, these are still going. So I'm going to teach you how to keep yours going longer and also how to keep and preserve your pepper plants over winter. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how I winterize my pepper plants or overwinter them as they say. I've got three years now out of these pepper plants in these same buckets. Here they are back in September and I can't believe how many peppers are on them. So what I do is once it gets too cold that I don't even want to leave them outside anymore and the sun's not showing as much. I come in here and I start clipping off all the leaves. It's very hard to do. I don't like to do it, but it makes such a difference. And I'm gonna show you why. See, the idea is to have your pepper plants become dormant. And then they're kind of hibernating throughout the winter. Of course, they're not going to be pr producing any peppers or anything. You saw what those jalapenos were doing. They were pretty much done. So what we do is take off all the leaves down to the stem. And as you can see here, that's just what I did. Looking at this, it, uh, you know, it, it doesn't look like much. And anyone w that didn't know better probably would just think this is one that you would toss. But no, it can hibernate throughout the entire winter. And if you can't tell by my voice, this makes me so excited. I'm taking off all the leftover fruit or the jalapenos in this case any little piece I can get because you can still use those. Um, but like I said, I'm so, I love how you can do this. It makes me excited because I planted these from seed. These came from just a package of seeds and I watched them grow and get to these big tree-like bushes. The last thing I wanna do is just watch them die. Unfortunately, a lot of your other things that you put in the garden, uh, they have their lifespan of just the growing season and then they're done and you start fresh next year so with these I can just let them sit dormant in my house of course you don't want to leave them in the freezing cold but as you let them sit over winter uh, I'll teach you a couple tips here one you want to make sure they get some amount of light throughout the winter um, another cool thing is you just need to add a little bit of water uh, maybe every three days at the most twice a week um, you don't want to overwater them you're not trying to promote any new growth you're just trying to keep it alive and that's all it takes it's very easy uh, it's surprisingly easy I would just recommend giving it contact with light for about six hours a day it doesn't even have to be natural sunlight but if you're going to exclude natural sunlight where it can't be by a window then you would definitely want to have it closer to the light source and using the brightest bulb that you can find. So here you go, check that out. This one, uh, as you can see, it actually V'd out and I left it that way um, because it's cool, it will grow on all of four of those branches when it comes back next year. See how they just grow, it's really neat. Each little bud grows into two leaves and then those two leaves grow into two more and they just multiply. I love nature. And speaking of nature, what do you do with all the cut leaves that we just cut off? I'll throw them in my compost pile. I would recommend anyone having a compost pile where you can recycle all your organic material and waste and you can give it to Mother Earth and she'll give back to you 10 times what you could ever buy in the store for a garden fertilizer. But this time, I just wanna show you how easy it is to do in your own five gallon buckets and you can take them in and out of the house as long as you want. But when you're ready to hang them up for the winter, you can. So they can come back strong next year. And these babies will be growing leaves when everyone else is just growing seeds. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and have yourself a wonderful life.